Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about Azure Web Apps and how can we secure them using uh, SSL. So let's go ahead and start. So I have already created a web app here. So let me show you how that is done. So you have to go to App Services and you have to just click Create and here select the appropriate resources. In this case, I have created App Service. If you don't have any uh, resources before, you can just create one and add the name here. So it will be uh, in that particular region in which you have used. In this case, it's East US. So coming to the web app name, you can just give it as uh, any name that you want. So in this case, I'm just using a Marty app. Since it's already there, I'm using one. So, and then coming to runtime stack, I'll be using net uh, six and uh, region will be East US. So let's wait for that. And uh, add accordingly the pricing planning. So once it is done, this review and create it. So you can see right now we uh, are able to see the zone, uh, zone uh, redundancy. However, if you change it to like uh, basic, it will be disabled. So based on the uh, plans, uh, you will be having, uh, you know, different options. So in this case, I'll just leave it default since it's taking time. So there you go, it's done. So you can just review and create it. So everything I just kept it as a default and just uh, reviewed and created it. So if I go back here, so this is the app service that I have created, okay? So now let's go to this app service. So this is the app service uh, that uh, we have created. So, so basically if you want to use SSL, uh, you have to use the correct plan. So if you don't have a correct plan uh, associated uh, with your uh, service, then you have to change here. So once you change here, uh, it will be reflected in your uh, plan and you can use those uh, SSL. So if you use a uh, free or you know shared D1, it, uh, you may not able to use the SSL uh, uh, certificates. On the other hand, you have if you chose any other uh, plans, you will be able to do that. So saying that, uh, you can just you know click and select it. So you can upgrade your plans from scaling up. So basically, scaling up is an app service plan is used uh, when your web app or a web service increase traffic. Uh, which can cause performance issue or uh, downtime. By scaling up the plan, you can ensure that uh, your web app has sufficient resources to handle uh, the increased workload, providing better performance and minimizing the downtime. So it can also help you to save costs by avoiding the need to create additional app service plans or upgrading multiple web apps individually. So this is one of the examples. So, so based on your plan, you have to scale up or you can scale out accordingly. So saying that, let's go to the uh, let's see the networking here so you can also uh, add the, the rules if you want so the inbound traffic and this is the outbound traffic and uh, you can also add uh, the rules if you want access restrictions and add the rules so we'll be not talking about uh, this uh, in this video but just wanted to show you the architecture here the networking and now let's go to the certificates so here we have to add the certificates so before that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a custom uh, domain. So let's go ahead and create custom domain. So let's add. So here you can see uh, when we are adding our custom domain, uh, we were uh, having different options, domain provider, uh, TLS SSL certificate and TLS SSL type in which we have two different types and based on our needs, we have to add it. So if you want to add the certificate uh, later on, you can just add it here or you can uh, use app uh, service managed certificate. So if you talk about the types, there are two different types, SL, uh, SNI SSL as well as IP based SSL. So basically SNI SSL is nothing but server name indication SSL is a way to enable SSL on a website uh, without needing a dedicated IP address. While IP based SSL requires a dedicated IP address for each SSL certificate. So SNI SSL is useful when you have a limited IP addresses or want to host multiple uh, websites on the same server. While IP based SSL is uh, useful when you have many websites that need uh, SSL or uh, when you want maximum browser uh, capability. So saying that, uh, let's go and add one domain. So I've already uh, used one, uh, one here. So let me use uh, MRT app service.com so you can see we have uh, domain validation in which we have uh, type a and type uh, text so basically uh, a type a record maps a domain name to an ip address right so since you can see here 
while a type text record stores text based information associated with the domain so type uh, text record are uh, used for validation purposes such as uh, verifying domain ownerships or uh, setting up email authentication so in this case it's a verifying uh, domain ownership so we have to make sure that uh, we are the domain uh, owners so i have uh, went to this uh, dns zone and added those records that we have seen there so once it is added uh, you can uh, add this uh, custom domain so since i've just created it's taking time so i'm just showing you how this is done so once it is done uh, once your custom domain has been created so let's go ahead and uh, just a second let me show you uh, the validation so if i go here let's say mrt app service one dot com so this is a different uh, domain so if you click validate there will be an error because we are the not the owners of that right so that is the reason we are getting an error so since the one that I've created is taking time, so just let's try to validate it. It's taking time. So the now uh, the next part is uh, we'll be going to the certificates. In this, uh, you can add your own dot uh, pfx uh, file. So basically, the pfx file is used to secure Azure resources like web apps, which we are using now, or we can also it's also useful in virtual machines or cloud services. So it can be uploaded to Azure to enable SSL or TLS uh, encryption and authenticate the server. Azure uses this uh, .pfx file to create an SSL certificate for your uh, website or application, which ensures that all communication uh, between the client and the server is encrypted. So once uh, you upload this, you can go to the manage certificates. So since I don't have any, so I'm just going to manage certificates and you can bind here right you can add your domain name which you have created in this case it's this one right mrt app uh, service dot com you can use this name and you can add that certificate which you have just downloaded so you have to add that certificate and validate it so once it is done you will be able to uh, complete this process okay next you can go to the uh, your website and you can uh, able to access that so coming to this uh, TLS and SSL, it's a way to ensure that uh, communication between a client and the server is secure and private. It works by uh, encrypting the data being transmitted so that uh, it cannot be intercepted or read by anyone who is not authorized to access it. So when a client such as a web browser connects to a server such as a web server uses a, a TLS and SSL, the two uh, devices establish a secure uh, connection by exchanging encryption keys and certificates. So the encryption keys are used to encrypt and decrypt the data while the certificates are used to verify the identity of the server and ensure that the communication is secure. So that is uh, what uh, the TLS and SSL is. And if you go here, so this is, uh, so usually this is our web app and this can be changed to the one that you have just created, uh, you know, the custom domain. Right. Instead of that, you can just access uh, this one and you will be able to access it. And initially when you access it, there will be HTTP. So let me show you the document here. So here you can see it. We have selected appropriate uh, uh, plan and uh, let me see where it is. There you go. So once you enable this, uh, you will be able to see this option. So coming to HTTP only, usually initially it will be off. So whenever you're trying to access the, uh, you know, uh, the site that you have created, the domain that you have created, uh, you'll be redirecting to HTTP. So once you on this, uh, then when you visit that website, it will be HTTP. So that is what I just wanted to show you. And uh, so yeah, coming to this video, I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you don't subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone